What's going on, Dungeon Dwellers? Welcome back. As always, I am Dungeon Master Dave, and we are back once again with another fireside chat. Now, I bet a good number of you are wondering, Dave, what, what the heck happened to you? Oh, I can't cuss yet. Hold on. Gotta wait a minute. What the heck happened to you? You've been missing for like two and a half weeks. Well, I got sick for a week. Pretty, really, really, really bad sick for a week. Um, I ate some bad food, and with my gastric problems, it what what you would experience as a day of food poisoning, I experienced as a week of food poisoning. So nothing like. Not being able to leave your bathroom for a week. Fun stuff. Not that I enjoy talking to you guys about that. You know, you don't necessarily need to know what my problems are like. But I just thought I'd be honest with you and tell you what happened. Then, the week after that, PlayStation broke. I've since had it fixed and everything's back to somewhat normal and figured out but um I'm I'm working on changing the setup for like the recording area so like what's behind me right now uh may not be what's behind me come once we come back because I have another like area off in my apartment that I could do recordings from that would be better and a little bit more comfortable and I wouldn't have to like lug all my stuff out when I want to record and then I keep it set up and then all I would have to do is get in front of it. So I needed to set up a dedicated recording space anyways. You know, not that I don't love my couch. I love my couch. But um I need to set up a dedicated space. Uh so I've been working on getting things back to square and I was I had done that pretty much for all of the last two weeks and then Monday rolled around I have a lot of thoughts about what happened on Monday of this week because I hadn't heard about George Floyd and I hadn't heard about any stuff going on wasn't paying attention i was i was too busy all in my own stuff trying to figure things out and wasn't paying attention happens to everybody didn't know the police were going to go out and murder somebody now i have dedicated thoughts about this i don't care what you did Unless you kill someone else, we shouldn't be killing people. We shouldn't be killing people. Unless we've got to defend ourselves. Then, by all means. But, kind of hard to live when everybody's killing everybody. Kind of hard to have a society when everybody's killing everybody. And that includes the police. You know, I know there are good cops out there. I've known them. I've met them. I have some of them in my family, okay? I, my brother was a police officer for a time. But the bad cops, when the good cops don't step up to speak, the bad cops are the ones that get to, get to speak. They're the ones that get to represent. And that's not okay. It's not okay, and it's not right, and... People protesting right now, you know, this is what you get when you don't listen to them. If if they had been listened to, and they are, they're asking for one thing: stop killing us. We understand when we do wrong. They don't want to not go to jail. They just want to stop being brutalized. You know, it's not like they're saying, "Well, we did wrong, and we don't." want to you know deal with it no that's not what's being said what's being said is is that hey guys we're being brutalized by the people who are supposed to keep us in line 
being killed by the people who are supposed to keep us in line. That's not okay. And I've seen it time and time again. This is not the first one. Although, God, I'm hoping it's the last. God, am I hoping it's the last. And the protests here were peaceful. I mean, you kind of wonder, does a peaceful protest do anything? Do they just ignore you? I mean, I'm in the South. Racism is kind of our bag. Although, I don't want it. I'm not, I'm not going there. I don't want it. And to that end, you know, I've, I've done some satire of some stuff on this channel. You know, Ranger Dave, Ranger Dave is supposed to be a satire. Supposed to get you thinking about this exact issue. Not exactly supposed to be funny. It was supposed to be, hey, police brutality. Does it feel right in a, in a video game? No. So again, maybe we should stop doing it. Sorry, my mustache is curling into my mouth. Getting too heavy, I need to shave it. Or trim it up. But, now's not the time for parody. Now's not the time for protest. I mean, now's the time for protest. Now is not the time for satire. It's the time for protest. So, Tuesday I found out that everybody was doing this big blackout. And I was like, shit, shit, shit. shit. How did I miss this? So, I blacked out the channel Monday because I heard about it and I was all like, oh. You know, I was all like, oh my god, what the heck? You know, it just floored me. And I was like, well, let's not make a video today because we, to, we need to engage this. We need to be mindful of what's going on. And then Tuesday came about and everybody's like, black out your stuff. And I'm like, okay, fine, 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 fine. And I didn't post this yesterday because I wanted to be a part of the blackout. And I'm going to continue to be a part of the blackout for the rest of the week. Um, George Floyd's funeral memorial is tomorrow. The cops were just charged with felony murder. I don't even know if the cops have ever been convicted of felony murder. You find out, a little research, the cops have not been charged or convicted of murder Except for like five, six times in the last 20 years. I know I've seen more than five or six of these assaults. Which is what I'm going to call them. They're assaults. These lynchings. And I'm going to call them that because that's what they are. I've seen, five, I've seen more than five or six of them. God, I woke up that morning and went, was, what happened to Trayvon Martin? What happened to Philando Castile? What happened to all these other ones? What happened? Did we not see that, hey, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe we should treat all human beings with the dignity and respect they deserve. But I digress. I don't want to make this a soapbox moment. I don't want to preach to you. I'm supposed to be playing games and having fun with you. That's what I wanted to do with this year. Let's play games, have fun, not have a worry or care, be your escape from reality over time. Because God knows we all need one after COVID. God knows we all need one after January and February. Remember the World War Three rumors? Us versus so-and-so. Remember Australia on fire? That's still part of this year.
Damn, same year. I feel like we've been through... I feel like every month is a year. I feel like every month is a year. It is just insane that we keep doing this and that we keep engaging this and that we keep having this go on. It is insane that we keep having to tell people, hey, don't kill other people. So I challenge you, go out and be mindful of everything going on this week. Go on out, check everything out, see with your own eyes. Don't listen to a talking head tell you what's going on. See it. Look at it. Be mindful of it. I know that's what I'm going to be doing. But, after this week, day about Monday, I'll post another one of these, and or I'll post up a video to let you know what's going on. Sorry I didn't message you guys or post a video letting you know what all was going on, but I got like bad sick. Like almost went to the hospital sick and during COVID. Okay. I had to take my mom to the hospital last week when everything was broke. Um, um and I'm hoping to get all these technical issues out of the way. Um I fixed my computer, I fixed my my PlayStation, so that should be tip top. Everything should be squared away five by five. The things that have broke can't, or the things that have broke have broke, or things that could broke have broke. Um, not really organizing my thoughts nowadays on paper either. I haven't written in a week. Actually, three weeks. God. Ugh. Trying to write a book here. But I'm not writing this week either. Now is not the time for art. Now is not the time for games. Now is the time to be paying attention. And looking at what's going on. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So. Anyways. I won't keep you any longer. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe. If you are going to go out to a protest. Please, 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 please. Do your best. to stay safe. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventures. Dungeon Dwellers. We'll be back on them soon. Until our next adventure, until our next journeys, dungeon dwellers. You take care.